Welcome back to NFL Breakdowns. I'm Sam Gold, and today we'll be looking at our last NFL draft prospect of the 2017 NFL season. I apologize if I haven't covered your team's pick yet, but at this point, I really want to get back to some 2016 game tape first. In this breakdown, we'll be talking about Taco Charlton out of Michigan, who was the Cowboys' first round pick this year. Taco is a smooth athlete who has the length and size you look for in a defensive end. His main issue is his inconsistent play on the field. At times, he'll look absolutely dominant, while other times, he'll completely disappear from games. As a pass rusher, Taco usually wins with power and length on a speed to power conversion. He doesn't have a dynamic first step, only running a 4.92 in the 40 yard dash, but he still times the snap well and can get an offensive tackle on his heels. Versus Florida State in the Orange Bowl, he bursts up the field and got his inside arm on the inside shoulder pad of the left tackle. He then used his outside hand to control the blocker while pushing him backwards. Now the quarterback threw the ball in under two seconds, which negated the rush, but this still showed his strengths. Taco uses speed and good leverage to lift the tackle out of his way. Here's another play versus Ohio State, where Taco uses length in order to control the blocker. In this play, Taco uses the one arm is longer than two principle in order to gain leverage on the blocker. Just like before, the quarterback released the ball quickly, which negated his rush. In addition to his speed to power conversion, Taco has a dangerous spin move. If he can perfect his hand usage, it looks like he has a lethal pair of pass rushing moves that will translate well in the NFL. Versus Wisconsin, he faced off versus another first round pick in Ryan Ramchek. While they didn't go against each other on every snap, they still had plenty of tape to evaluate. I actually broke down this performance on fieldgoals.com, and from that article, I only counted one pressure that Taco can get on Ramchek, and it occurred in the first quarter on a spin move. Taco has enough burst to get an offensive lineman retreating, then he uses their momentum against them. He does a great job of narrowing his blocking surface to stop Ramchek from landing any punches. He actually did this again in run defense, where he forced the running back to prematurely cut back inside and get swallowed by the defensive line. In this matchup, I actually expected Taco to use his spin move more frequently but he only used it four times all game. The final one was in the fourth quarter and Ramchek guarded it well. He used quick feet to mirror it back inside while the rest of the pocket collapsed under Michigan's pressure. In my opinion, if he can perfect his hand usage, he could make for a good edge rusher. In this play, he misses his downward swipe, allowing Ramchek to round the corner and take him out of the play. As a run defender, Taco is very aware and does a good job of following the ball. On this tackle and stunt versus Penn State, he's the penetrator attempting to get through the B-gap. He keeps his head up and finds the quarterback as he's trying to scramble through the hole. Taco is a bit inconsistent with using his length at the point of attack. Versus Florida State, he did a fantastic job of using his burst and 34-inch arms to collapse the running play. On this quarterback sweep, the right tackle was called for a holding penalty due to Taco's initial penetration. This is the type of force that Taco can bring to the table. Now, there are a lot of misconceptions regarding his run-stopping ability, and my hope in this video is to clear them up. Some have said he's an awful edge defender who can't play contain, while others absolutely love his game. I honestly think it depends on which game you're watching, because it really depends on the type of play the offense is running. In zone-based schemes, he usually does a good job with penetrating or pursuing the ball from the backside. He doesn't have an elite motor, but he is certainly above average in that regard. From my film study, his problems were mainly from power running plays. Anytime an offense pulled a guard to his side, he was the player I worried about. Versus Wisconsin, the Badgers run power to the left. They pull their right guard across the formation while the fullback loops and blocks for the running back. Taco is a seven technique lining up on the inside shoulder of the tight end. After the snap, the tight end releases to block Jordan Lewis who is also picked by the Cowboys in this draft. Taco shuffles down the line of scrimmage then attempts to jimmy his way between the two blocks. This is a mistake. He has contained duties and he should have squeezed the gap. If in the off chance that I'm wrong about his assignment, he could have wrong shoulder to the puller. Regardless, he didn't either and this effectively allowed the running back to escape. Here's another example versus Florida State. He should have squeezed the gap and kept his outside arm free to contain the edge. Versus power, you have to be extra careful as an edge defender to not penetrate as the offensive line will take advantage of you for being out of position. Now, I mentioned this earlier, 
but Taco does not have elite speed, especially to the boundary. He's not TJ Watt, and he's certainly not Miles Garrett, where he'll be able to chase plays across the field. This is a negative because he'll lose contain, and it happened multiple times versus Ohio State. First pro comp, I think his game is most similar to Charles Johnson from the Panthers. While they differ in size, neither are flashy players, but they have the physicality to hold the point of attack. It took Johnson a few years to come to his own, but he's been an underrated part of the Panthers' defense for the last decade. As far as Taco is concerned, he fits the length and size profile Rod Marinelli likes in his defensive ends. In their 4-3 over system, he could make for a good building block as the Cowboys try to improve their front seven. Well, that's it for this one. As I said at the beginning of the video, I want to jump back into some 2016 game tape and look at some current players from around the league. Eddie Lacy would be one of those guys and his fit in the Seahawks running game. I'm still deciding on who I'm going to do next, but he'll be soon. I promise. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Samyar Gold, and feel free to leave a donation at my Patreon account if you want to support the growth of this channel.